What's up guys? It's Nico aka Neeks back with a brand new video and I am so excited because tomorrow morning I'm flying to New York City to go and see TWICE in concert. This is so crazy. I cannot believe tomorrow I'll be seeing TWICE in concert. I'm literally vibrating with excitement but there's a whole backstory so yeah. So roughly about a week ago I was texting my friend Lauren talking to her about how um like big of a TWICE fan I've recently become this is like before any sort of concert that I knew I was going to but let me play this voice memo that I sent Lauren so mind you this voice note was literally before I knew I was going before anything this is it so true miss girl so true I am like really going through a k-pop phase right now and like I got into k-pop in 2019 I feel like that was like when twice wasn't like that that big so i never really got into twice it was more like blackpink itzy and um now i'm getting into like newer groups like aspa stacy but because twice was already like a thing i never really got into them but now i'm really getting into twice and i literally just love them now i know why you stand sent lauren that voice memo what about my day later that night i posted an instagram story and my friend frida who I actually met while studying abroad at Yonsei University in Korea, Frida responded to my story saying, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. So me and her are chatting and she was like, um, I actually have an extra ticket to go and see twice in New York City. Like, are you down to come? And I was like, oh my God, what are the odds I was just telling Lauren how I'm a newly twice stan and this girl who I met so many months ago is now inviting me to New York to see twice. So with that being said, tomorrow I am meeting Frida in New York and we're seeing twice together. So I'll be landing in New York a bit earlier than Frida, but I'm going to spend the afternoon kind of like walking around shopping. I really want to have some good Korean fried chicken tomorrow. So stay tuned for the real travel vlog and I'll see you guys in New York. Hey guys, I'm at the Ottawa airport right now, about to catch my flight to have a layover in Toronto and then off to New York City. But there is always something with me in this airport. Literally something always goes wrong. So I'm only bringing a carry-on to New York because I'm literally only going for like two days and I packed all my like skincare and everything in my carry-on of course. And everything was under the like required um, like measurement of liquids. But little did I know it has to fit in a one liter bag and I was like, oh my god, so so the girl was like, if everything doesn't fit in this bag, we're throwing some things in the garbage. And I was like, so effing shook, let me show you the bag. Okay, I'm just gonna show you like this. Oh. Basically, everything just fit into this one liter bag. Thank god, because there's nothing in here I want to throw in the damn garbage. guys made it to Toronto and as you can see I'm wearing all black because what is a New York City outfit without an all black look but I have like another maybe half an hour left in Toronto and then I will you know head over to New York City so excited see you guys I met a new friend say hey Hi. <laughs> and we are on our way into New York City we like got a really affordable like train and it's like the so cheap. If you ever fly into Newark, take this train into New York City, literally a quarter of the price of the Uber. I can't even tell if you can hear me or not, but I am in NYC and now I'm going to get some Korean fried chicken and I'm so excited. This is so crazy. I literally had the shortest flight here and next thing I knew I'm really in New York. Right now I'm in Koreatown and I may hang out here until my friend Frida gets off her flight and then I'll probably take an Uber to our hotel and meet her. Guys, change of plans. Basically, I went to go get the fried chicken and K-Town was such a zoo. Like there were thousands of people. There was no seating in literally any restaurant in all of K-Town. I think because twice is here, everyone wants to have a little, you know, Korean dinner. Um, but now I am at Shake Shack. Still, like, not Canadian, thank God. Um, but would have loved a good Korean fried chicken. But, you know, tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay guys, I'm now at Cha Cha Matcha in Manhattan and I'm honestly so pressed for time right now, but I have the worst headache because I'm going through a caffeine withdrawal with no matcha this morning. So I came to get a cute little drink and then I'm headed to the hotel to meet Frida. Okay, I got my matcha. This is the purple oat drink. I got this in LA when I was there last time. I'm so excited to have it again. Okay, you guys, this is my OOTD for the concert. I'm wearing this little pink hat, this like baby purple sweater, and then just a little, you know, light wash jean. But I'm here with Farida. Say hey. Hi, guys. This is so exciting. We met in South Korea back mm -hmm. in August. Uh, I think um, towards the end of July. Yeah, end of July, but now we are, you know, in NYC, ready to enjoy twice. So excited. Okay, you guys, we are en route to dinner. Sorry for the quality change. They don't let cameras into the stadiums. So we're going to have a little Chinese food dinner tonight and we're excited to fill up before we scream our lungs out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, we got brown sugar milk teas. Look at how cute this is. It's called Hupo and we're ready to order some food. We got so much eggplant, you guys, and I'm literally in heaven already. Oh my god, yeah. I think mine, my top three were Icon, my favorite song, Scientist was so good, and I also loved um, Hello. And my friend Logan told me that they would, the crowd would get so crazy to Hello, and they got crazy. I'll tell you that. Okay, you guys, we're sitting on a shuttle bus right now. We've been here for literally 45 minutes, and we're all over it. But some random person airdropped me this photo. This waiting time is not approved by Sana. I am effing screaming. We're literally all over this insanely long wait time. 
Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Frida is sadly on her way home right now. So that means I have another day in New York City. Um, today, I don't have that many plans. I really want to get a nice little um, breakfast or brunch, I guess, um, because I'm starving. But the concert last night, guys, was so, so good. I had the best time and i really really want to see twice again hopefully on the floor next time because people on the floor got like the best view yeah if you want to see more photos or videos like on my instagram and i will be taking you guys along for today hopefully i can get fried chicken today i mean i have no idea when i'd be getting it but i'll bring you guys along and i guess we'll go together okay guys here is my ootd shout out to my friend vanessa for letting me borrow these jeans but i basically wore this exact outfit um like a few years ago when i came here but i just like love the like oversized gray sweater and the little you know ripped jean but it's kind of cold outside so let's see if it's too cold for a rip in the jeans and then if not we will change into the regular jeans from last night but the sweater is like oddly like rippling and i don't know how i feel about it Hey guys, I am gonna have breakfast at Paris Baguette. If you saw any of my Korea vlogs, you would have saw that I literally loved this cafe and there's none in Canada. So I'm so excited to get a little, you know, cute treat from Paris Baguette. Okay, I got an iced Americano. I got a matcha mochi donut and a like cheese bread, I think it is. Um, I low-key want to go back to Cha Cha Matcha today to get a second matcha. So I just want to have an Americano to not like overload. You know what I mean? The lighting right now is so impeccable, I'm at a loss for words. It's so hot, I had to like take my jacket off. Like, so much hotter than Canada right now, oh my god. So I was just walking and of course I spotted the queen with Jay-Z on this Tiffany billboard. She looks impeccable as per usual. Okay, I came to Central Park. Such a nice like break from the city. So I'm back at Cha Cha Matcha with Aaron. Say hey. We met in Korea at Yonsei and now we're together in New York City. Okay, although I have a dinner planned at 8.30 tonight, right now the time is 4.14 and I was gonna check from my hotel now, but I'm low-key starving, so I came to a Korean restaurant and it's brought me all of the bansam, which are like the appetizers for the meal. The restaurant is called New Wong it's right in K-Town in Manhattan and literally these are like lifesavers because you can order a small dish but still like get full because there's so many little bantans right here and I feel like I'm right back in Korea with this little like water jug on the table. Okay, I got this sandupu chige which is a like tofu um, stew with kimchi, this rice of course and then my literal favorite dish on earth are kimchi cho and it's like a kimchi pancake. I feel like I've vlogged so many of this dishes in my vlogs. Um, I'm so excited to you know, dig in as per usual. This is my OOTD for the night. I've worn these pants so many times that the black is so faded and I'm only realizing this now wearing this really, really new uh, jet black top. So hopefully the restaurant is dark because that's kind of embarrassing, but yeah, I bought this new necklace. I love the look of like a tight necklace on a turtleneck. Love it. So now I'm going to Tao. So I will see you guys there. I feel like I literally should rebrand and become a food blogger because as you guys know, all of my vlogs, 
everything I do basically includes food. So do I rebrand. I feel like all I've done this trip is literally this clip of me like... <laughs> You guys, it's almost two o'clock in the morning. I'm praying to God the camera can pick up the sound. Of the blaring effing music outside. I have to change rooms. It's been going on all effing night. And I literally cannot sleep. This is so effing messy. I have to change rooms, pack up my whole life right now. <sighs> you guys have no idea how pissed I am right now. Look at how I have to go down to the lobby. This is like my shoes. I'm not even gonna bother putting them all the way on. This is an effing shit show. Okay, I'm in the new room. And it's on the other side of the street, thank God. This is so crazy that literally at 2 a.m. I had to move rooms as I was in bed with my eyes closed, in my pajamas, ready to fall asleep. I had to get up, pack my shit, get my shampoo, toothbrush, skincare, everything, and literally move rooms across the damn hall. This is so annoying, but you know what? People have it worse. Um, but yeah, let's hope I can fall asleep right now because it's like two. I wanted to get up at like eight to like roam the roads before I have my flight. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I wake up. Good morning guys, last day in NYC. I am a bit tired. Last night's noise outside was so loud, but I think I'm gonna wake up this morning. I'm gonna go get a like breakfast or a um, like bagel or something and then get my final matcha of my trip. Don't know if I should go back to Cha Cha Matcha. Three times in three days is a bit much, but we'll see wherever I end up going, and I'll take you guys along. Hey guys, as you saw at the concert, I didn't buy any merch and there is this K-pop store in K-Town that has like super, super like cute little like cheap, like I would say like knickknacks and like, um, like photo cards and stuff like that. And I was like really like contemplating, do I go and buy a little like, you know, twice souvenirs because I'm like here and saw them in concert. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I think I should. So I'm going to go back to the store and hopefully get like a little you know, souvenir from the trip. Okay, I'm at the airport now, but let me show you the stickers I got from the K-pop store. This is like a little like sticker book, and you can see here there's like a bunch of like different kinds of stickers. Um, don't know like where I'll be putting them, but like even if I just keep them in this little booklet. I still wanted some sort of keepsake from the trip and it was much cheaper than the like $75 uh, shirts at the concert so I'm happy I ended up getting this. Anyways guys that's about it for this New York vlog. I feel like I literally vlogged so much on this trip and I feel like this vlog low-key might be like half an hour long but I made sure to like literally vlog everything I did so if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!